Hi and welcome to another tutorial for the CG Brothers. In this tutorial we're going to use Lightwave and we're going to export a file out of Lightwave and import it into 3D Studio Max. There's a uh, website on the internet, uh, it's Newtex website as a matter of fact, and it has a ton of really cool models you can download and see how these, these artists had, uh, created these uh, really neat scenes. Uh, you can look at their, their models and their lighting and their texturing and how they set up a rendering. There's a ton of monitor, there's about 20 pages or so of, of models. And down here, this is the one I chose to do, is by a guy named uh, R. Feeney in Galloway, Ireland. And he did a Celtic uh, cross. So I went ahead and um, downloaded it here. It's a zip file and, ex and uh, archi unarchived that out. And we'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll load it up into uh, New Text Lightwave. So let's go ahead and load the scene. All right, there it is. Uh, you can also look at it with their uh, Lightwave's uh, viewport uh, preview renderer, which is a, a real time renderer that shows kind of what you'd see in software when you render it out with textures and lighting go back to the normal shaded and let's go ahead and export that file and we're going to use the FBX format which is Filmbox IE Motion Builder now and we use the default 2011 I'll we'll overwrite the one I did previously just to make sure it works say OK and then we'll go ahead and go into 3D Studio Max Let's uh, import that file. All right, and then we'll just accept all the default settings of import. Make sure it's in centimeters. I've had problems in the past if I don't have it on centimeters. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but keep it there and it should work fine. We'll load that in. You do get a uh, unsupported camera film gate setting error, which is the, just their camera and light wave is slightly different than you'd see in 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 Max. You would have to set it up manually. Okay, there it is. We'll go ahead and set our viewport to the camera and look at it there. And let's switch back to uh, the uh, light wave and see how its its aspect ratio is different. And there's no textures on it in Max. Okay, well, it got stripped out uh, on the export. It's there in the Materials Editor, but you just have to repoint it back. So we'll do that now. So go to the Materials Editor, use the uh, Pick Material from Object, and then you've got a multi sub object material in Max, and you've got a uh, front and side. So you've got two material IDs here. And so we'll go ahead and point those to the right uh, files under maps, go ahead and pick the front and you'll get an error and we'll go ahead and just point it and I put all the, the uh, textures that for the scene in the root directory of the uh, the FBX file format exported out of uh, Lightwave so it'll be easier to locate. Alright so it loads those in there you can do every single map um, for the uh, specular bump and reflection and get it in there and then go go back up here and do the side as well um, and then you'll have all the textures the way they had them in Lightwave minus its rendering settings and things like that which you can do alright so let's go ahead and just load that up alright and since the aspect ratio is not the same in the viewport, we want to match what what uh, the layout of Lutex is. So let's go ahead and change our rendering setup. We'll change it from the width from 640 uh, to 480 to the height of 840. And then we'll go. 
go ahead and change our camera to safe frame and it's about the same you'll see in in light waves there's light wave and here's max all right well thanks so much for watching